Hey guys, today we're taking a look at the Darius Rucker version of Wagon Wheel. Uh, this is a guilty pleasure song of mine. I love it. Uh, and I know a lot of people do, even though they pretend not to. <laughs> so it's a good song to learn for campfires. Um, very simple. We have a capo on two and we're just using four chords. So let's get into the song. So here's the breakdown for Wagon Wheel. Uh, you're gonna need to have a capo on the second fret, and then we just have a bunch of basic chords. We're looking at a G chord, a D chord, an E minor chord, and a C chord. So those are the only four chords we're using for the song, uh, and there's two kind of variations on the progression. Now I'm gonna teach this in three stages. I'm gonna do just a very simple version. And then I'm gonna add another layer of detail and then I'll add a, a third version which will be the most layer of detail. So if you're a beginner, choose the first one. If you're an intermediate, look at the second or a third one. So here's the most basic version of the song. Is it is a G chord and we're gonna strum down, down, up, up, down, up. And go to a D chord, down, down, up, up, down, up. Now to help us out, we have to use something uh, I always talk about and that's the open up stroke. So on the very last up, we have to lift off. So it's gonna be down, down, up, up, down, up. And then go to D chord and do the same thing. Down, down, up, up, down, up. E minor chord, down, down, up, up, down, up. C chord, down, down, up. Up, down, up. That's our first, uh, our first progression. Um, second time it goes through, we cut out the E minor and play the C twice. So it'll look like this. So that's all it does throughout the whole song. The only thing that's different is the very beginning. What happens in the very intro of the song is it plays the first progression twice uh, and then the second one once and that's when the vocals kick in and then it bounces back and forth. So, so I'll just show you here uh, how the intro works. At that point the vocals come in and then from then on it just goes back and forth from progression one to progression two so progression one has a has a g d e minor c progression number two has a g d c c and that's it that's the whole song um there's one part where the dynamics drop down a lot and of course there's other lead guitar parts so let me show you uh, another layer of detail that I think will help with the song. That version is a great campfire version, but let's add one layer of detail. So I want you, instead of down, down, up, up, down, up, we're gonna replace the first down with a bass note and it's gonna look like this. So that helps to clean it up and give us a bass sound. Uh, and then in this style of music, it's important to have that. So the bass note that we're hitting is whatever the bass note is for that chord. So for example, on a G, on a G chord, the bass note is here on the low E string. On a D chord, it's the D string. On an E minor chord, it's the low E string. And on a C chord, it's the A string. So we would do it like this, bass, down, up, up, down, up. We still use the open up stroke. Bass, down, up, up, down, up, bass, down, up, up, down, up, bass, down, up, up, down, up. And that would be the layer of detail that would help to make this song sound just a little bit better and a bit more like the actual song. Of course, it does take some practice because getting to that bass note and being accurate with it uh, is, uh, is a little tricky, so practice that. 
Let's take a look at the third level of detail, uh, which is bringing in some of the more uh, finesse parts that are actually on the song. Um, and the very beginning of the song doesn't start with a down or a um, or bass note. It starts like this. <laughs> So we have an upstroke. We have an upstroke and we have a little country hammer on. If you can hear that. So let me show you how this works. So when we're playing a regular G chord, the G chord we should be using is this uh, pinky ring index middle G chord. But we're going to uh, actually take our index finger off and leave everything there. We're going to start with an upstroke. And then we're going to do a downstroke. But what we're going to do is we're going to do a hammer on from the second fret low E string to the second fret G string with a downstroke. So it looks like this. Okay. And we do it with a full chord strum. So it's like if I do that again. After the hammer-on is complete, we do another downstroke, okay? And then up, down, up allows us the change. So I'll show that to you one more time, nice and slow. Go to the D chord. We're going to be doing um, a hammer-on and then we're going to take it off of the high E string. So that's a hammer-on with the middle finger on the, the second, what we're calling the second fret on the high E string. So how that works is the middle finger is going to be off of the high E string. We're going to strum from the D string down and we're going to hammer on to the second fret high E string. After the hammer on is complete, we do another strum with the middle finger on. Take it off and do an upstroke and then an up, down, up. So now we have those two things to make it sound just a bit more like a song. The rest is the same. And of course, that's only the intro of the song, but it does help it to make uh, make it sound a lot more like the actual recording uh, and of course we're talking about the Darius Rucker versions. So I hope you enjoyed the lesson. If you have any questions or comments um, of course put them in the comments section uh, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you have any re requests for other songs uh, that's cool too. Don't forget to like the video and of course don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> See you later.